Hey guys, it's Emily from Kitten's Book Corner, and I know I've been gone, but it's because I have school, like I said in my update thing or whatever, but, um, right now, I have a lot of time, so I'm going to film a bunch of videos and upload them slowly throughout, you know, a couple weeks, whatever. So you'll be seeing this for a few days, a few videos. Uh, today I am here to do the a book review for The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. I finished this book, I'd say a week ago, less, less than a week ago. Um, it is 363 pages. And basically what this book is about, it's about a girl named Megan Chase and she's never been what anyone has considered to be normal. Since she was very little, she has just something that's felt off about her ever since her dad had disappeared. Pretty soon in the story, she thinks she's being watched and she just feels like she's being watched all the time. And her best friend, who is Puck, becomes very, very protective of her suddenly. And she doesn't really understand this. <clears throat> Eventually, she travels with Puck to the Never Never, which is the land of the fairy, fae, whatever. There she learns that she is actually the daughter of the fairy king, one of the fairy kings or something, and that she is actually a pawn in this huge war that's going on. She, throughout the story, she learns a lot about herself and she tries to defeat an evil that no one has ever been able to defeat. And she even perhaps falls in love. So things that I liked about this book were the description. It was really nice like just how Julie Kagawa described the Never Never and it, learning all about the Never Never. That was very intriguing and very interesting to me. The world building was, <coughs> sorry, the world building was done very, very well and I really enjoyed it. Um, I really liked Puck. I loved him. He is like the perfect guy and the perfect best friend ever. Like I love him so much. I also liked the cat Grimmal Grimalkin. I think that's how you say his name. I loved him too. He was, he's just like this very sly, mysterious cat. This I just loved him. This is basically my first fairy book that I ever read. Not basically, but it, it was my first fairy book that I ever read. And it really, really made me interested in learning more about the fairy, fairy worlds and more paranormal characters and things like that. I'm really interested in the mythical, mythical creatures now because of this book. Um... I also, in this book, I really enjoyed how there are some aspects from Alice in Wonderland thrown in. Like, there's the two courts, the summer court and the winter court, which is sort of like the Red Queen and the White Queen in Alice in Wonderland. And the cat, the Grimalkin being there, it sort of reminded me of Cheshire Cat and Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. I just like that. It was really neat things that I did not like about this book. I didn't like Megan, the main character. She was, most of the time she was a huge damsel in distress. Like she just got into all these problems and had to have the, the guys come and save her and it was driving me crazy. She acted very, very stupid and made stupid decisions at times, which really got annoying. With this book, I didn't care to keep reading it. I mean, the book was very, very good. It When I was reading it, I wanted to keep reading. But, like, I really did not have a problem with, like, just putting it down and being like, oh, I'll just take a break from it, I'll do something else. I also ne didn't really want to pick it up. I mean, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It just took me like a month to finish because I was, it's probably because I was still in my reading slump and it was driving me crazy. So that's probably why. 
but yes but I just didn't have the urge to pick it up and just continue reading it I mean eventually I did and everything but yeah so overall my rating for this book is four out of five stars I would recommend this book for pretty much anybody it's a good story it's not bad and I will be continuing with the series considering I have all of them and I want to know what happens so yeah I hope you like this comment with your opinions on the book below I'll talk to you guys later bye